another video from 1990s chapter. Today I'll be showing you what is in my duffel bag. I know it's been a while, again, for not making videos, but today's the day I finally have some free time as we have a snowman. So, first of all, it comes to duffel bags. There's a lot of choices, especially for the 90s and 80s. So this first one is my arm. Dated 90. Six, I believe. Yeah, ninety six. Um, so I, I think it's a little bigger. Two straps. You can wear it like a backpack. Obviously, you would put writing on it. And on the bottom, this is an A bag. And in this pocket right here, I always store black, thick trash bag. That way, if it's ever wet or whatever, you just open this up. You put the whole duffel bag in the trash. For this one, I'm using the canvas one. This is dated 80 something. And I've made reflective tags to help the airports or whatever. So here, in this pocket again, trash bag. In the bottom, whoops, round collar or whatever. And then two glasses there, more chaplain round stuff. Chaplain around here. Okay. So, first things first. This is another chair, might as well. So, what we got right here. Obviously, this is here. I made that. I'm just laying it over. Laying it over the top. This is dated here. 84, maybe. As you can see, bag, duffel, cotton. Rough, OD. This one they call. Obviously, cotton bag duffel nylon sandals. Okay, and this is a real close to it. So, first things first, open the extra pair of BDU pants. Oh, well, they got all of them. That's too big. But, anyway, easy to access. They're right there. And keep going. This is not for a typical season. It's just packed by, oh, oh, money button. Bates, Butler, Boots. Again, they're really good, but that's okay. So those are there. And top tent. Being a chaplain, you get a full one. So that's there. And as you can tell, inside I have the foam sleep mat. Well done. Next thing is we have a laundry bag. And when you're packing, I like to put this kind of go like this. It's kind of like a laundry hamper, so you can do the same with this. Makes it really easy to pack. You can also use a waterproof bag, but I just use the bag bag system for it. It's newer, but whatever. It's basically the same. So I'm kind of set up for cold weather right now, so you'll see a lot of warm stuff. This is the polypro neck gator, gator neck, whatever you like to call it. Polypro. Pants, poly pro shirt, times two. This one I recently wore. Oh, I need a bad job or own stuff again. But yeah, as you can tell, recently worn. Two sets of those. Extra leather, leather gloves. I'm pretty sure there's some in my butt pack, but may need some, especially if you're prepared. Pile cap. And really, you can put whatever you need in here. This is the um, scarf. Wool scarf. My field jacket lining. As you can tell, my field jackets are here. I was wearing that recently too. So it wasn't in there. Typically, on your way out, depending on where you originally live and where you're heading, you could wear it. And then I'd have a good tea, cotton set, top, and bottom. Hat, just black cotton on, and it's just what they call it. Cap knit walk wool, 97 dated. That's that. Windbreaker, this is probably 97 dated too. All the same set, long sleeve, early PT. Pants. I don't even know if they've dated this. 
fitness. This is should be 97 as well. Yeah, Ant's physical fitness went up 98, but still. Same thing with the black stuff. So then, I'll do this. And the mat. As you can tell, nothing too much going on. So, once again, I got like this. So, I got the laundry hamper. I'll show you how easy it is to pack this. Make sure you got everything nice and organized, though. Okay, back with this. And this. This is not typical. This is not necessarily an A bag or B bag or whatever. It's just what I would take to an event. Just sort of type of stuff. And then typically, you would have to. I don't know why I'm having issues forward, so that's my bad. Okay, guys, you gotta be nice and tight. But anyhow, I don't know. But this thing is popping out a little, but it should be right there. Whoops, never mind. I keep forgetting I start to take this wrap wrap out. So what I do is typically take this to the side so you can still fit stuff in it. But I have this on top. There. See like that? I'm gonna take poncho on. Not poncho on, field jacket on. I should say. Get that in there. Little scarf. Crown cap. Extra pair of leather gloves. Have a whole set. Again, my bad for not wrapping everything properly. Not necessarily professional now, it's just for the sake of having a nice short video. But yeah, see these ones are fine, they're wrong. I just wore those other ones. Nice and me. And it's all the same. Oh, okay. Now. Tie the strings. Kind of push it so you have like a little cavity right here. Pull this up again. Keep spreading the mat out so you have more space. And what I'll do is we'll take. Oops. I like having the, these ones up top because you never know when you gotta switch out these younger bits. They're over there. You see them. You always see them. So that's like that. See, not too much different fashion. <laughs> you can tell I've worn those recently. And then BDO. Right there. Whoop. Again, you see, drop it just to do that. Get the flap down. Pull it along the edge like that. I always do the right thing first. I like making it look good. So, let's organize that. See? Perfect. Just like wrapping a present, basically. So, let's organize that nice. We're going to take this string. Go like this. There we have it. Nice pack duffel bag. We're all set to go. Thanks again for watching 1990s Chaplin. Please enjoy more videos, subscribe, any suggestions. I got everything. Period correct. Everything. If you need me to do a demonstration or whatever. Obviously with the snow, I don't know, but I'll try my best. And thanks for watching. Remember, always range lead the way.